Even, is this the all clear for Evergrande? Can some of our concerns be laid to rest? No. No, back to you. No, <laughs> absolutely not. Uh, it is just not the beginning, bad. really. I mean, it buys it. It, it buys everybody a little bit of time. It, well, it buys Evergrande a little bit of time. But keep in mind, you know, there are more coupon, dollar bond coupon payments due starting next week. Another $45 million that they missed about 30 days ago, like this uh, bond payment uh, that was due. It had a 30-day grace period. And boy, did Evergrande take it down to the last minute because that 30-day grace period ended tomorrow. And uh, today is the last day of the business week here in Hong Kong. So uh, they had to get that paid. And it, by, uh, by sources are telling Bloomberg uh, that they have wired that $83.5 million. But by my calculations, there are another four bond coupon payments, dollar bond coupon payments that still are overdue and need to be paid by November 11th, totaling uh, roughly $200 million more. So this buys them some time, but it's a critical time because the story yesterday was that Evergrande and Hobson Development, another developer, that deal to sell a controlling stake in Evergrande Property Services collapsed in the final hour as well. Uh, that was a, a, a deal worth $2.6 billion that Evergrande sort of kiboshed, according to Hobson, because they demanded better terms of the deal uh, in a filing to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. So it, it, it raises a lot more questions. How are they going to get the necessary funds to pay those near-term obligations? Long-term, we can forget about that for now. Near-term, they still have a lot of bond coupon payments to be made.